<laughs> I like that. All right. Uh, these people, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know how you get there, okay? They, they must have never flown in an airplane. Because as soon as you take off, you could see the Earth is is curved. The, yeah. I don't see the curve right now, as we speak. They're beginning the Flat Earth International Conference in Raleigh, North Carolina. Thousands of nut jobs from around thousands? the world. Thousands are intent. Yeah, I was blown thousands, away, man. You're kidding How me. How many have registered? Yeah, that are actually attending. I, Even if a good chunk of those are trolls, that's still a lot. Dude, I looked at the video. It looks like an Amway convention. There's thousands <laughs> of people what? there with little tote bags that say Flat Earth Society and all this stuff. I mean, it's insane. We used to think when we got started individually in this that we were alone. We have one thing in common. We live on a flat plane. They have conferences, seminars. They have, you can buy, like you know how you buy a globe when you're in school? You can buy the earth. It's a disc that they believe is flat. Yeah. And it's surrounded by a wall of ice. How come nobody's seen the ice wall? Right, that's what I was going to ask. So when you come to the edge, wouldn't we have... Proof of that? That yeah, there's I nowhere mean, further to go? You figure these people have been leading a pilgrimage to, you know, around the, the, the disc. To like, get how the come edge. no one's done any of those? To get, yeah, to prove that the world is flat. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I, let's listen to some more of what they have to say. Okay. Nobody likes the, this uncomfortable feeling of being this tiny ball. Yeah, we don't live in a ball, we live in a disc. Now, how do they know this? How do you know that the Earth is flat? Um, well, I've watched... Over 50 hours of video. She's oh, watched good. 50 hours of video. So stupid. Um. Okay. Let's move on to somebody that actually did their own research. Okay. Ready? Here we go. So I went down to the seashore, down in New Jersey, and I did my own testing. What sort of testing? So you take a straight edge, and you go from one end, and you follow the, the horizon of the ocean, and you go straight edge just to the other end, and it's, it's flat. Oh, knock it off. I can't. No. No way. No way. So she went. So from, stupid. She, oh. she went on one body of water and had both ends, and it was flat. That's the dumbest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. Did, I'm not really scared, to be honest with you. D- don't they understand that, like, you're that small? The earth is that big? Are to you, you really trying to address the story, really? Is there really, anything you could say that would matter? <laughs> It I don't know. Matter. My mind boggles. Uh, and but they're 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 set. They truly believe that the world is flat. So we had a guy called yesterday. We didn't put him on the air because I didn't want to seem like mean. Because yeah, I mean when you're well, some people are so bought into it. Some people are so stupid and ignorant that you, you just you, you have to just kind of like pat him on the head and go okay this guy's good. Well, you know his whole thing was uh, it was biblical. That's where his take was on it. That the earth was flat right. because we are the center of everything. And the, and the sun and the moon and all that stuff came after his dressing. Right. The sun and the moon was um, created on the third day. So why would the earth revolve <sighs> around it? And I, I didn't quite understand what he was saying. But that, is almost as, that is almost as unbelievable as this story. Uh, Bill Clinton.